Welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. And now it's time to talk sports. Of course, uh, it's a Friday and we have a guest Monday, Thomas, uh, who is standing by. Uh, sports journalist reaching us uh, right from Akwa Abasi, Ibom State, and the capital of Akwa Ibom State, Uyo. All right. But before that, let's uh, quickly inform you, remind you that for the first time you know, since Nigeria began her medals rush, at the ongoing 2022 Commonwealth Games, the country's athletes had a barren outing on day six of action in Birmingham. Uh, despite the momentary medal drought, there were a couple of impressive performances uh, from some Nigerian athletes ahead uh, um, of the end of the activities for that day. No Nigerian athlete was in the final of the 100 meters uh, women's event. The country had two uh, this time. Uh, we had Grace Nwokocha and Rosemary uh, Chukuma. All right, Grace Nwokocha and Rosemary Chukuma. However, neither of them made it to the podium, with Chukuma finishing in the fourth position uh, with a time of 11.17 seconds. Nwokocha uh, was just behind her in fifth uh, with a time of 11.18 seconds, just uh, shy of the medal positions and quite unlucky. Uh, you might say. This is the first time that either of them will be making the final of the 100 meters at a major championship. Uh, in the men, men's 100 meters, the uh, nation missed out on having any of it, it, its athletes in the final. Uh, Favor Ashe, Raymond De Kewo, and Gutsin Brume all faltered in the semi final races. And Nigeria still occupies the 10th position uh, on the medals table with eight medals, three gold, one silver, and four bronze. Uh, that's eight medals, three gold, one silver, and four bronze medals. Now, join us again, as I said, uh, to look at this. And also to look at the English Premier League uh, returning uh, for a new season is sports journalist Monday Thomas. Monday, thanks again for your time and good morning to you. Good morning, Bottles. It's always great to be here. We get to sit pace for the weekend. And uh, what a weekend we have on our hands, the Premier League returning. But I'm uh, very much fascinated with what is happening at the Commonwealth Games. I mean, uh, last Friday we took time to talk about it, and uh, this is Nigeria's uh, 15 parents, and uh, they've made it uh, since, uh, I mean, they've not completed the appearance since it started in 1930, but we can say that we are having a great time. Uh, you may mention a lot of um, uh, Favor uh, O'Shea, who, of course, lost losing out at the finals of the 100 meter men's, and, of course, Grayson Wokocha, and uh, Ruth also missing out in the finals. Uh, that was actually the first time we saw two Nigerians, first time in eight years at the Commonwealth Games, we saw two Nigerian women in the final of the 100 meter. And just as you've stated, the finish fourth and fifth respectively, they didn't get to the podium, but we are seeing great drive right there from the athletics point of view here in the country. I mean, gone are the days we, we only used to talk about football and basketball, but this time round, we are looking at all the sports, and this other sports could feature also a great deal. I mean, look at what other youths can do apart from playing football and basketball. And I must say, the Commonwealth Games came at the right time. It just came at the right time when uh, uh, the likes of say Brome and uh, Kobe Amosan broke the world record. So it was time for Nigerian athletes to also know that, hey, if this ladies can do so in the World Athletic Championship, then we can dominate the Commonwealth Games. And I'd like to update on that table. Nigeria currently ninth. Nigeria currently ninth. They have a, a total of 11 medals. Today, uh, Fula Shade Olua uh, broke the world record in the powerlifting heavyweight. Of course, uh, breaking the world record by scoring 123.4 points. And also not forgetting Chimere Mwachuku, who won a gold medal, but also breaking a world record. So in less than 30 minutes yesterday, Nigeria broke uh, two world records in one day. So it shows that we are coming in full force. And uh, there is uh, something I read before coming on the show this morning. And uh, the, uh, the Ministry of Sports are also supporting these ladies. According to uh, that particular article, uh, it, 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 it stated that $25,000 has been splashed. And of course, this money is going around for people who have won medals for Nigeria. Like for the gold medalists, they've gotten away with $5,000. That is Adija Adeneke, who won Nigeria's first uh, gold medal in this Commonwealth game. And not forgetting uh, Rafia to Lawalu also is a gold medalist in this competition. She's going to win with $5,000. And the coaches are going with $3,000. Not forgetting the silver medalist, 
uh, Taiwo uh, Lai, who went away with $3,000, and the likes of uh, our bronze medalist, Edidion Moff, there from Akwai Bomb, as Islamiyat Yusuf, as well as Mary um, Osijo, going away with uh, $10,000. I mean, uh, not ten, two thousand dollars $2,000, beg your pardon. Uh, but I, th I think that it is a collective action that, uh, just like I said, the Commonwealth game came, came at the right time, uh, when Toby Amosa, of course, uh, took Nigeria's flag up there, and uh, we know that the, the Ministry of Youth and Sports, the AFN, the athletes needed to put their arcs together. And they're doing that so far. And we are ninth on the log, pretty much not so bad. Hmm. Indeed, Nigeria has, has moved up to eighth. Because I was going to ask you, you know, to give us an update of that. And I'm just checking it uh, to see Nigeria has moved okay. up to eighth. Yeah, and uh, it, I mean, isn't this exciting for you, my brother? Um, you know, rubbing shoulders with the top countries in the world as far as uh, uh, track and field. Uh, are concerned. I, I see that the goodness and Wachiku secured Nigeria's fourth gold medal uh, of the ongoing games, uh, breaking the women's discus through uh, F42 to 44 slash 61 to 64 event. I don't know what that means, trust me. <laughs> I just like you have to just <laughs> flip, but, uh, but, what, you know. But, but she, she, we see here that she broke the world record twice in the process of um, getting that gold medal. That, that's yeah, fantastic. from the throw she had. Uh, from uh, Chimer uh, Mwachuku. She had four throws in that particular event, uh, the Discourse Paralympics uh, Power Game. And according to reports, all of that four throws was capable of uh, having four world records separately from that four throws. So she was not just at a peak, but she was out of this world. Like, I mean, and you talked about Nigeria, uh, of course, Robert told us with the big countries in the world. We are also a big country. And mm. I want to change points to the people. I, 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 I take I take back my my words. I take back my words. <laughs> you know, but you know, we don't talk about the likes of Australia, the United States of America, Canada. You know, um, I think we should. China, what, what, when, we, when you talk about and just popping shoulders with the big countries, we should be top three, top three, and then we we'll start talking with the likes of the Australians who are running away. Imagine Nigeria won three medals yesterday, and. Uh, the Australians won times three of that. So that's nine medals to them. So whatever Nigeria can do, Australia can do three times better. So I think it's time for us, maybe in the next Commonwealth Games, in the next major uh, athletics event, we'll get to see her topping uh, top three. I, I would fancy to see us at the top three. Hmm. All right. So currently it's uh, five gold medals, uh, three silver and five bronze, a total of 13 medals uh, for, for Nigeria. Um, looking at all the sports in, in, in the ongoing Commonwealth Games, which of them would you say Nigeria has flourished more? Not just looking at the medal halls, but also the performances. The weightlifting. Okay. We have dominated it. We, have, we, have, uh, run, run, we are running the show in the weightlifting and also in the heavyweight lifting as well. If you can remember, uh, Adijan Adenike won Nigeria's first gold medal in this particular uh, Commonwealth Games. It was from, uh, it was from uh, weightlifting. A day later, Nigeria won their first bronze, bronze by uh, Adijan Omofia. It was weightlifting. We kept on winning weightlifting. And in case you don't know, uh, that uh, majority of uh, the medals that we've won so far at the Commonwealth Games have been by ladies. So ladies are running the show indeed. Uh, when Beyonce said, we run the world, girls, I'm beginning to believe it. <laughs> All right. Um, so apart from weightlifting, which others would you say the, the nation is flourishing in, looking at the results? And also, not just the podium finishes, but the generally uh, the, the, the performances, uh, even those who are outside the podium. Because I've seen, you know, table tennis, boxing, uh, um, um, athletics, that's a uh, track. Um, you know, you have a uh, high jump. I even saw one of uh, yeah. uh, uh remember you, you talked to me. We talked about uh, Aruna Quadri, yeah. I last was time. so much in esteem of the young man, but uh, in the finals, <laughs> Nigeria lost to India, and uh, that was the end of uh, that was the end uh, in the semi finals. Actually, they lost to India, and uh, that was the end of uh, the road for the senior uh, table tennis contingent right there. But they also went ahead to play for bronze. Uh, bronze medal and they also lost but today we should keep taps apart from uh, the wet lifting we'll also take a look at what's going to be happening at the truck and field event our very own uh, lady uh Esther Brome and the likes of Tobia Mossan are going to be hitting the ground running so we should also expect great medals uh, from uh, that particular event but 
in the overall, we are doing it very well in the weightlifting. Mm. All right. Um, you know, the, 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 the four-yearly or two-yearly you know, discussion of all, oh, are we focusing too much on football? In fact, we, we relegate the other sports in this country to the extent that we in the media, you know, sports journalists call them other sports. So we say football and other sports. Right. Um, what do we need to do? What do we need to do to, to see how we can, we can um, improve on these individual sports that will give you more medals with less investment? Because I'm sure you already know, if you look at the team sports, you have a bunch of people going for just one medal. Uh, but in the, in the individual sports, it's one person, one medal. Um, so you invest in one person, you get one medal. Should we be doing more in athletics? Or should we look at uh, maybe, for instance, the weightlifting and powerlifting, or table tennis, or boxing, or long jump, or discus, or javelin throw, or high jump, or what? All right, so like, just like you've stated, uh, especially in the media, I'm also guilty of saying football and other sports. But I think uh, we can do better if uh, the, uh, the sports administrators here in the country, we want to invest more in uh, athletics, we want to invest more in the so-called other sports apart from football. Because when you take a look at it, we are a footballing nation. Yes, many countries elsewhere, they're not Nigeria as a footballing nation. But when it comes to other events, they don't know Nigeria as it. But... Even when they don't know Nigeria as a, a good athletics, a good Paralympics, Olympics, a, a good other sports countries, but now we are doing the very best. Imagine that if uh, the Ministry of Youth Sports will closely look at this event, closely look at this particular side of sports, and uh, make sure that uh, uh, we have the facilities needed. Pretty much in the next three years, we'll be taking sports very, this other sports very serious. Yes, because it all starts from the top. If we have the right facility, if our athletes are not going out of the country to get training, then who would not recognizing the likes of judo, the likes of weightlifting, table tennis? Imagine that we don't even have enough. Uh, this particular event that are getting major concerns, and we're still doing considerably not so bad. Then if it's given all the attention it, it needs, then football might just become... Uh, the, maybe not the very most popular sport that we know about, then we'll get to talk about other things apart from football. All right. Are you expecting more medals? Of course. I told you, my, our ladies, I'm, I'm, I'm always uh, tempted to say my lady. Uh, <laughs> I say Brome and uh, Tobia Musen. So, of course, she's the world champion. So, she wants to uh, show that uh, call the Commonwealth Games is very common to her. If she can uh, beat the world record, then, the, then the, she can, of course, uh, absolutely obliterate the Commonwealth records by winning Nigeria's gold medal right there at the track and field event later on when she'll be qualifying. Oh, she'll, she'll be in the, I think, heat two uh, for the qualification. And hopefully she gets to the semifinals and then the finals. I'm seeing her win, winning a gold medal for uh, Team Nigeria. If she doesn't uh, break the world record, at least uh, equal the world record, or get maybe if it's a couple of microseconds outside the world record, uh -huh, I'm sure you know where I'm going to. Um, will this put a question mark on, on her time, the time she recorded in the United States of America at the World Athletics Championship? Remember uh, Michael Johnson doubting that uh, the timer at the World Athletics Championship was not so accurate. So I'm, not, I'm, I'm very sure she wants to shut up that critics. She wants to show them, hey, I'm the undisputed world 100 meter huddle record holder. So I'm putting all my money on her. I don't even want to think if she doesn't do this, but I'm very sure Tobia Musan will dominate the track later on today. All right. And uh, Esa Brume, do you think having come uh, second in the World Championships that uh, she stands a chance of being number one in the Commonwealth? Is it, uh, is it real clear for her, like we say, in this part of the world? It is certainly. I mean, Nigeria, and Nigeria contingent uh, of, uh, in past times, so we are doing pretty well in the Commonwealth. And I think as time goes, we are getting better at discovering more tactics. Uh, but I think we should also discover the tactics of uh, getting more support uh, to the athletes. And of course, let's say Brome is someone who basically has uh, been trained abroad. She will want to, of course, go there and conquer. Remember uh, that she won Nigeria's only gold me only medal at the 2019 World Athletic Championship. She won a bronze medal in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics. She won a silver medal at the World Athletic Championship. So she's going to win something in the 2022 Commonwealth Games. You see our trajectory? 
she's always winning. So she's a winner. So expect a lot from her later on. All right. Uh, let's let's shift the focus now. That yearly drug that you and I usually take, um, we're about to go back and, and take some of that drug again. That's called the English Premier League. It returns tonight uh, with Crystal Palace at home to Arsenal Football Club. Um, what are your thoughts on the return of this EPL, a brand new season, and who is your money on? The might, the magic, and the magic of uh, European football is back again. And trust me, I'm absolutely buzzing. Yes, because uh, English football, I know it, a lot of people say it's the most hype league. And I think it is. It's not really much uh, the, the best league in the world. I'm not a big fan of the English Premier League. But because of the media and the hype, I mean, with Peter Jury, the commentator, you know that you are in for a cracker. And it's certainly uh, it's poised to be a great one. Manchester City are still uh, a side to beast, uh, beat. And uh, they'll still want to go on for that title once again. Pep Guardiola, you see him. He is never satisfied. So I think I think we should also keep, keep taps on uh, the likes of uh, uh, Chelsea, who are doing the business later on in the transfer market. According to reports, Marco Correa, who is going to be their latest signing before the end of today, will be joining up and the likes of uh, Connie Chukwe Maker. Uh, it's a league where I will urge people not to think they can predict, not to think, not to think they can prejudge yet. So... <laughs> It's, it, it's a lot more to come. We should just watch and see what is going to happen. A lot of people are banging on Arsenal to deliver. I mean, they are in a good position to deliver, but can they deliver with the form on the preseason? Bartles, you agree with me that uh, the preseason form might not just be the real season form. Hmm. All right. Tonight, 8 p.m., Crystal Palace at the Cell Horse Park. Remember, Crystal Palace beat Arsenal 30 goals in the old. You can remember that, right? <laughs> Absolutely. So, uh, it, it could be <laughs> it could be that Arsenal want to go for a revenge and not forget Patrick Vieira former Arsenal captain will want to beat uh, Mikel once again it, it's certainly going to be dicey it's going to be interesting I don't want to rush to my predictions I just want to see how things will unfold alright alright I want to thank you very much for your time Monday Thomas splendid analysis as always of the Commonwealth Games and of course uh, the uh, Premier League uh, uh, return and uh, I was asking who your money is on for the league. You don't want to go there. Who's your money? Oh, on to, yeah, who's your money on to, to win tonight at Sarah's uh, Park? It's a straight win for the Arsenal. Okay. Not because right. um, I, I I can't disagree with you. I, I can't disagree with you. <laughs> All right, money, Thomas. Thanks for your time, and uh, we hope to see you again soon. Bottles. I'm looking forward to doing this more. The season has just started a European football season, so it should be talking more. All right. I, lo I love sports on a Tuesday as well. So ah, Fantastic. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you very much for your time. And uh, on that sporting note, we uh, come to the end of uh, the breakfast uh, on Plus TV Africa. And it's been a thrilling week with lots of analysis, uh, beautiful and interesting information, and of course, um, a beautiful program. We return next week on Monday with more on the breakfast. Uh, big thanks to our entire hardworking team behind the scenes right here on Breakfast uh, from those in the PCR, MCR, the production crew, the camera crew, every single person has been doing the hard work to ensure that this program stays on the air. Thank you guys. Thumbs up to you. Um, you can follow Plus TV Africa on social media across all platforms at Plus TV Africa and on YouTube we are Plus TV Africa and a Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. My name is Kofi Bartels. Have a fantastic day. Good morning to you.